My name is Chris Bella and welcome, welcome on my uh, platform, channel, whatever you like call it. Just welcome. I'm glad you could join me today. And I just want to say thank you again for watching this video. This is literally just a quick introduction to introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Chris Bella. <laughs> Oh Jesus, I sound so cheesy, but yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so basically on here we're going to be talking about the latest news, the latest trends. Uh, I'm just going to be updating on you guys on all the good stuff and you get to join me on this journey. We're going to have some special guests all up in here. So it's not just going to be me, we're going to be doing some silly stuff, you're going to be learning about new people, you're going to be learning new things. So I hope you guys can join me on this journey and God bless, I pray that this journey is not a short one but a long one that is full of blessings and fun and joy and friendship and all of that good stuff. So. <laughs> Guys, thank you again very much. I really appreciate you. Oh my God! Wow! Okay, so just to get started, so you guys can know a little bit about myself, I'm just going to do some quick fire questions so you can learn a little bit about myself. So, um, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm 22. I graduated from De Montfort University. I studied media and journalism. That was 2019 graduate. <laughs> but yeah, um, question number two is who is your hero? Jesus Christ. But <laughs> I don't really have a hero per se. I don't really have a person that I look up to as I as I I like to um how should I put it? I learn from everyday people, like I learn from my friends and I learn from my family members, all the mistakes that they do I always try and avoid and all the good things that they do I always aspire to do kind of similar thing or maybe even better than them, you know. We gotta go up a level in that. <laughs> uh, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? So currently I live in England, UK, I live in Leicester. But if I were to live anywhere, I will probably say somewhere hot and exotic. So probably like Hawaii <laughs> or something, but mm, never America. I know that's, right. that's not a place for me at all. I'd say, yeah, I'd say Hawaii because it's nice and exotic. Or probably like the Caribbeans because it's more fun and vibrant. That's the kind of person I am. I like, I like different environment. Like I can get to meet new people every day i love that so yeah that's where i would live um what is your biggest fear oh my god i am scared of heights it's actually bad i'm actually scared of heights but the funny thing is yeah i live on the ninth floor wow. so yeah it's weird but the thing is yeah if i have my feet on the ground I'm good as soon as I know I can't put my feet on the ground that's it fuck it that's it end of it don't even talk to me I just need to get down like I can swim but as soon as I know I can't put my feet on the ground I just panic and drown so scared of heights don't put me on a tall tower where I can look down yeah <laughs> scared of planes oh my god oh let me tell you girl I went on a trip all the way to Canada. That was the scariest thing I've done in God knows how long. Because the flight was like about, what, 10 hours? I don't know how long it was, but it felt like forever because my stomach was in knots. I, 
it was just terrific um next question what is your favorite family vacation yeah it had to be my trip to canada that was that was a great experience i met lots lots of lovely people the people that are so friendly they're so welcoming you would never guess and um yeah literally everyone was just saying oh you need to come and live down here you need to stay with us there's no way you're going back but i was like <laughs> juices what would you change about yourself if you could a few moments later i mean i'm perfect Damn! the only thing i would change about myself is that I can I can be so emotional. I'm an emotional person. I'm literally driven by emotion. So if I could change that, it would be good. Because one minute I'll be all happy and the next minute I'll be pissed off as fuck. But it also takes another minute for me to switch back on being happy. roller coaster for people who don't know me they just think I'm crazy but if you know me you know just give her a minute she'll calm down or just talk to her nicely or explain your situation she'll just calm down but otherwise it's, it's yeah it's just a headache <laughs> um what really makes you angry um quite a few things I don't like repeating myself that is a major one I don't like repeating myself like if I've told you thing or something one time two times the third time I'm pissed at you just just don't bother asking me again I've already told you it it just irritates me I don't know why it just irritates me <laughs> but and the weirdest part yeah I take a long time to understand things so it's weird when it's I don't know it just irritates me I don't like repeating myself and I don't like feeling lost I hate feeling out of place it just makes me feel uncomfortable so yeah those are the things that I hate and they make me angry they make me irritated so um what motivates you to work hard I'd say my family because I always look at my family and I always want to what's best for them i always want my myself to have a brighter future but to also support my family i always like to support my family because it's really important family is really important yeah there's a lot of police down here <laughs> the family is really important because they're the people that have been with you from the get-go like you have friends that come and go but family will always be there even though they irritate you they piss you off they get on your nerves they do all of that shit they they will always be there they're your blood so family motivates me um what is your favorite thing about your career i don't really have much of a career right now but the only thing I would say from doing photography, I like making people happy. Like when you've taken their pictures and you've edited them and you send them back to them, I love it when they're happy about that. So it makes me happy to make someone else happy. That's one thing I say. And then on the other side, because I'm also a support worker, the thing I like about that is... Um, um, I say because you're supporting that someone to be more independent to establish themselves as a person that's one thing I like so I like helping people out so yeah that's one thing I like about my career my career and um, favorite show at the moment I am watching Snowpiercer and Viking they're literally what I'm watching right now. It's, it's, I know, they're totally different things in the way that Viking is more um, angry man fighting. <laughs> and then Snowpiercer is more of dystopian environment, which I love. I love sci-fi. I love fictional things. I don't, I don't really like reality things. It's, it's boring. And um, my favorite show... I would say 
I can't just name one. Probably Orange is the New Black. And... Uh, a few moments later. Orange is the New Black. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I love that show. It's really funny. It's really entertaining. Like, I can relate to a few of the characters I know. I've never been to prison. Don't get me wrong. I've never been to prison. But I can relate to a few of the characters because they're... Some of them are just... Yeah, they're just crazy. So, I can, I can relate to that. <laughs> and, um... Oh. <laughs> There's some crazy questions on here. Um, one of the questions was, what is your preference, male or female? And that's a question for another day. <laughs> and last but no means least. choose to be anyone for a day what would it be um oh I'll be the president I'll be the president I'll change everything <laughs> literally that whole day it'll be everything I don't know everything black everything African I just represent my culture I'll be the president and literally change the world yeah <laughs> I don't know how else I can explain it. Yeah, I'll just I'll just be the president of all the world for the day. Or maybe the world president. Really nigga? Yeah, president for the day. <laughs> and yeah, that's it guys. I hope you um learned a little bit about me today and um eh, try again. So I hope you learnt a little bit more about myself and I also hope you like and share this video, all of that good stuff and make sure to come back next time for more content on this channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!